Good morning. Morning, Mr. Bray. Good morning. What do you say, sweetie? What do you say? What do you say? Say good morning. Say good morning. Tomorrow. All right. Good. Off you go. You have to teach him to say good morning. We want to become confident. Good morning. Principal Manisha Gazula runs a tight ship at Marsden Road Primary School in Sydney's Outer West. Good morning. Every morning she greets the children and they're expected to do the same, setting the tone for what she calls the Marsden way. Good morning. I don't accept mediocrity. To say that our kids cannot perform or cannot do, or we cannot have the same expectations like the kids living on the other side of the bridge is absolutely, a, I, I will not accept that. One of our aims at our school, we're going to life of choice, not chance. So if they know how to read and write and enumerate, they'll have more choices going ahead. Whether they want to be a tradie, whether they want to be a doctor. Just walk a little bit quicker, boys and girls, pick up the pace a little bit. Once inside, students are well drilled to march in double lines to class. Every detail is planned to ensure these kids make the most of their time at school. I have got 20% of students who come from refugee background or have had refugee-like uh, experience. And I've had students who have enrolled 10-year-old who have never held a pencil or seen a book in their life. Victor Boateng has four kids at the school, with a fifth soon to join. So who's the best student me. out of you? Me. 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 It's me. No, it's me. No, believe me, I would know. I'm the best. I told you before, remember? If they got the good foundation, the numeracy and literacy, which is so important for them, they can go far. If you're going to move schools, move to house. Jacqueline Trapeska almost sent her son, Sasha Andonov, to a private school, but was attracted to Marsden Road's focus on discipline. I feel confident because the teachers, they make us feel confident. I have friends that live in the area and I've seen uh, what their children do at school and when I show them what my kids are doing here, they're shocked. Some people did a P like this. Is that how we write our P? No. no. Rub it out and write it again, remember. Marston Road's success is anchored in a teaching revolution called explicit instruction. Oh, superstars today. Today, Deputy Principal Troy Varey is leading a daily phonics lesson, one of the key planks of learning to read that are taught in bite-sized chunks. Everybody, grasp. If they can't decode, the comprehension won't happen. So that's the lesson it's doing today, working on the reading and writing side of the phonics. Uh, so we look at uh, reading words, spelling words, reading and writing sentences. Can we all read water complex sentences together? Explicit instruction is a mix of old school teacher-led instruction emphasising discipline combined with the latest science on the way kids' brains absorb knowledge. Fantastic. Well done. Basically, if you are a child, you can hold two or three ideas at one time. So if you give too many instructions to a child, they're going to drop some. That's how the brain works and that's how we teach at our school. The school used to teach using a method called whole language, which became popular in the 70s and is still used in many schools. Its philosophy is that learning to read is easy and natural in the same way that humans learn to speak and that exposure to books and language is most important, not phonics. You wouldn't do that when you're trying to teach a child to play piano or to play any other instrument or to do something new you would go step by step, but yet when it comes to learning maths or English, somehow we feel that different approaches is okay. For decades, debate has raged over which teaching method is best, and it remains contentious. The school changed its practice when Manisha took over as principal. Since then, the results have transformed too. For the last three years, our year five and year three students are outperforming the state in writing. So our proficiency in writing is over 60%. So 60% of our year three kids, kids who couldn't speak English, are writing better than some of the state, better, you know, the so-called good schools. Say good morning, Mr. Dizda. Good morning, Mr. Dizda. Good morning. Former teacher and one-time Garbo Murat Dizda is now secretary of the New South Wales Department of Education. I worked hard and I did work for Canada Bay Council, uh, picking up the garbage and then making sure I showered quickly to make my way to Ashcroft High School, which was my first school where I taught. 
Now the boss of more than 2,000 public schools, Murat Dizdar would like to see others improve too, so more children with disadvantaged backgrounds like his can reach their potential. I'm really proud of the school here at Marsden Road. It's a school that's got sustained positive outcomes for students. It's not a flash in the pan. Repeatedly, year after year, producing outstanding outcomes. Murat Dizda revealed to 7.30 it'll soon be required for every teacher in the state to be trained in the Marsden way. On day one, term two, which is a school development day, right across 2,200 schools, we will be undertaking explicit teaching learning in every single school in New South Wales. So who taught you this? Um, we, we just learned it. At Marsden Road, they found it's unlocked the transformative power of education and hope other schools enjoy similar success. I tell the kids I cannot change where you come from or your family background, but what I can do is help you get out of that and make a better life for yourself. And the parents want that too.